Hey, so welcome back. I'm going to be starting a video series on how to factor polynomials into their linear factors. Uh, but before being able to do this, you should have a strong understanding of some of the polynomial theorems. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in the next following videos. And once we've covered those, then we'll move on to examples that actually use all the theorems to find the linear factors. Alright, so if you have any questions after, just email me at absolutemathematics at yahoo.ca and let's get started. Uh, this video's theorem is going to be talking about the remainder theorem. And uh, before we get started on the remainder theorem, I actually just want to cover some basic knowledge on division and remainders. So let's say we have the number 6 and we want to divide 6 by 5. Well, we all know that 5 goes into 6 one time and if we do the subtraction, we have 1 left. And how many times does 5 go into 1? 0 times. So our answer is 5 goes into 6 1 time plus 1 remainder, 1 r. Okay, so you know we can do this division with numbers easily, but we can also do this division to find the remainder with polynomials. And that's exactly what we want to talk about today. So the remainder theorem actually pretty much just states what we just saw and it says when a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus a the remainder is p of a and p of x can be written as x minus a times q plus p of a okay what does this mean and what do these things represent well p of x is our polynomial p of a is the remainder just like in the other question we just did uh, the remainder would be one and a is a number. It can be any number. Alright, so let's start with an example. Uh, let's take x squared plus 2x plus 1. Alright, so we have this polynomial. This is our p of x actually. And we want to divide it by some term or some expression to figure out what the remainder would be. So how about we choose, and like I said, a can be any number. So let's say a is equal to minus 2. So then our factor, or not our factor, but our, a, uh, our expression would be x minus a. So um, x minus minus 2 is x plus 2. So this is our expression, and we're going to be dividing it by our polynomial to find what the remainder would be. So 2x plus 1. So this is long division. You should be able to know how to do this. So we're going to do what times x is equal to x squared. So it's x. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is plus 2x. And now we subtract this by this. And as you, as you can see, it's 0. And then you drop the 1 and you get plus 1, which gives us 1. How many times can x plus 2 go into 1? Well, it can't. So we know that a remainder, just like in the other question, is equal to 1. Now, to show that this is actually a remainder, we're going to rewrite our polynomial in this form. And if this form gives us p of x, and this p of x is the same as our p of x, then we know that this is our remainder. So let's try it. So p of x should be equal to our expression here, which is x plus 2 times q. And I forgot to mention, whatever you get on top of here every time you do long division, this is your q, plus your p of a, which is 1. So actually, I should have put x there instead. So let me rewrite this, x plus 2 times x plus 1. Now what this is telling us is that if this is correct, then this should give us our polynomial here. So let's develop this and see if it gives us the same thing. So x times x is x squared plus 2x plus 1. And as you can see, it gives us exactly the same thing. So 1 must be the remainder. So this is true. Uh, another way to see that your remainder is true is that you can do p of a 
is equal to x minus a times your q plus your p of a. Now rem remember your p of a is just your remainder, but uh, you're not going to put your remainder here. You're going to put p, and our a, remember, is minus 2. So you're going to do p of minus 2, and then you just replace x by minus 2. So minus 2, and remember a is our minus 2, but it's minus minus 2, so it's plus 2. Our q is x, but we replace x with minus 2, so minus 2, plus our remainder. So as you can see, minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0, and 0 times anything is 0, so we get plus 1. And remember, this p minus 2 is equal to 1, but the p minus 2 is actually p of a, which is actually our remainder, so our remainder, it states, is equal to 1. And that agrees with what we found, so that this is true. So we basically proved that it works, and all you have to take away from this video is that a polynomial divided by any expression will give you a remainder. Sometimes the remainder will be zero, but it doesn't matter, it's still a remainder. And you can use these two formulas to prove that it's true. And if this works, then it, and it gives you your original polynomial, then it's true. And if you do this, and it gives you the same remainder, then you know it's true. Alright, so remember, if you have any questions, just email me at absolutemathematics at yahoo.ca. And if you don't have any questions, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.